Farming as we know it in the past is you farm in vast pieces of land in the countryside and then you bring it to the city, you bring it to modern trade as we call it, which is supermarkets for us to consume, right? That has to change. So we cannot really increase agricultural land area anymore. So we have to make food production more efficient. So the solution would be to bring the farms closer to the cities. In this series, we'll explore how innovative technologies and local initiatives are rethinking the way we produce and consume food. Welcome to Future Food, where we explore the food production of tomorrow. Today, we're exploring an innovative food technology that's changing the way we think about nutrition and sustainability. I'm talking about Solene Powder from Solar Foods, a revolutionary protein source derived from air. Why is there a need to make protein out of air? And what genius goes behind the scenes to create such proteins? We speak to one of the founders of Solar Foods to find out. Hello, I'm Joabe Kapitkanen. I'm Chief Technology Officer and one of the founders of Solar Foods. Why is there a need for alternative proteins? One of the big drivers for us has been how the land area of Earth is utilised. More than 50% of this arable land area is used for farming and the forest area is something like 30%. So we cannot really increase agricultural land area anymore. So we we have to make food production more efficient. So we established Solar Foods in 2017 with the idea that by making food from CO2 and renewable electricity, we can start to feed the growing human population more efficiently. We cannot turn rainforests into fields anymore. So this has to change. How is this powder produced? The solar production process is actually rather simple. So it's a bit like brewing beer or producing uh, baker's yeast. So we have a bioreactor where we cultivate the microorganism we have discovered from Finnish nature. But this microorganism grows using hydrogen as the source for energy and CO2 as the source for carbon. So it doesn't use any sugars like yeasts would do. What are the nutritional benefits of solene powder compared to traditional protein sources? Solene powder contains 70% of protein and after protein there are fibers like 15% of fibers and then fatty acids roughly 8% and then there are minerals something like 3% and then uh, so minerals also include iron and uh, magnesium calcium so that it's very good also in mineral composition and additionally there are vitamins including B12 and uh, folates so various B group vitamins and the yellow color it comes from carotenoids so precursor for vitamin A. So how do you see solene powder impacting the future of food and sustainability? We want to basically liberate food production from uh, connection to agriculture so we want to enable the future of food being more independent of the climate conditions so that it wouldn't burden the environment so much. In my viewpoint, it suits also countries like Singapore very well, where there is not much really arable land available and you are dependent on imported foods. Overall, the concept that we can have food production more closer to, to food consumption, so this is also one of the concepts for solar foods. Now let's see how Solene powder is being used right here in Singapore. We're at Chengdu Bowl, a restaurant known for its delicious Sichuan cuisine. Come on, let's go in to find out. Hi Sabrina. Hello. I'm Yulin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So I'm here with Sabrina, the owner of Chengdu Bowl. Sabrina, can you tell us a bit more about how you started to incorporate Solene powder into your dishes? Yeah, sure. Um, we were introduced by Nurasa, which is the food tech accelerator in Singapore and which is supported by Tamasic. Um, when they introduced Solene, um, we noticed that they don't really have manufacturing in Singapore. So we uh, shipped their product all the way from Finland, then did the testing with our chef. Then we tried with our classic Sichuan food, like um, Mapo Tofu. So uh, it turns out to be great. That's why we trying to be the pioneer and introduce to our food. I love it. Finnish technology with Asian cuisine. Yeah. That's amazing. Fusion to the max! So what made you decide to incorporate Solene powder into your dishes? As a young Singaporean brand, we just don't settle for being ordinary. 
So when we started, we also think about, hey, how can we promote the modern Sichuan cuisine by incorporating, you know, the new technology? So we get introduced using this powder. We thought that, hey, why don't we give it a try? Because it helped to boost the mapo tofu's protein by 10%. Does it affect the texture at all? Uh, a little bit more QQ. <laughs> I thought it would be. So how did your customers react to the addition of Solene powder into your dishes? Yeah, it's actually well received. It became one of our best selling products in the entire restaurant. And also we receive a lot of message coming from the Instagram. People are privately messaging us saying that, hey, this is really nice. And we even receive some uh, messages from overseas, like from Europe, because they know that Finland have this powder. And Singapore, I think it's one of the first jurisdiction approved this powder to be used in the food itself. That's fantastic. Can you walk us through how you prepare one of your dishes with Solene powder? Oh yeah, sure. So for the mapo tofu itself, Traditionally, the sauce will have the minced pork. Uh, that's adding the flavor. But for ours, it's completely vegan in a way. Um, so they will just put in the solin powder in the stock itself. So when they cook it, uh, it comes in the whole texture and blends. Mm. Mm. Sounds lovely. Well, let's dig in, shall we? Sure. I'm gonna give it a taste test. Dun, dun, dun. How is it? It's really nice. I like the kick of the spice. Mm -hmm. As for the tofu, there's a bit of a nasty flavor, but it's pleasant. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. It's fantastic to see such innovative solutions being incorporated into traditional cuisines. What are your future plans for Solene powder or any other alternative proteins for that matter? We're also looking for other alternative protein. Um, we do have uh, plant-based meats as well uh, in other uh, outlets. So we are doing like cross testing and see which one comes to the top. Then we will introduce to other outlets. Oh, lovely. Mm. Well, thanks so much, Sabrina. It was really lovely to hear about your journey with Chengdu Bo. Right now, I'm kind of hungry. So I think I might just, you know, um, like help sure. myself. And, and maybe this one also, if you don't mind. You can take all if you want. Um, I think I only can manage two, but thanks very much. <laughs> oh. Chengdu Bowl is a great example of how innovative food technologies can be creatively integrated with traditional cuisine to provide healthier and more sustainable food options. To have a deeper understanding of how innovative food technologies like Solene Powder are changing the food industry, we spoke with an expert. I'm Dr. Carrie Matlock and I'm a senior lecturer at Nanyang Technological University. Can you comment on the emerging global food lifestyles and emerging trends that you see in novel foods? So some of the emerging trends and lifestyle trends in Singapore is that people are more interested in healthier and more sustainable food options. And alternative proteins is one of the fastest growing sectors in this, in this interest. And Singapore in particular has taken great interest in investment into it. So Solene is one of the companies that Singapore has approved of for its uh, as being an alternative protein and it's from a micro protein. This this association between technology and food, people tend to have this anxiety about it because we want food that seems to have a, a natural source, you know, grows from the dirt, the earth. And so when we start to include science and technology, it separates food from its natural origins. And so naturally humans have this awareness and more um, more barriers put up about what we want to eat and affect us personally. And so Solene is, is an example of a company that is using great new technology to create alternative protein forms, but is uh, facing these cultural barriers that we hold on to so tightly with food. It's inspiring to see how Chengdu Bowl is incorporating Solene powder into their dishes, creating healthier and more sustainable food options for their customers. Next up, we'll be visiting New Rasa to learn more about their role in accelerating food technology in Singapore. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time on Future Food, as we continue to explore the future of food security and sustainability in Singapore. Hi, Serena. Hi. You Lin. Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> well, we said it at the same time. Was that weird? <laughs> okay. So, when can we dig in? I've been waiting forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very hot.
Is it? Is it very hot? Oh, wow.